there, this is Josh from Literary Gladiators, and today I'm here with a book haul. Uh, the bookstore that I'm going to be talking about today is Barrier Island Books and Art in Stone Harbor, New Jersey. Uh, Barrier Island Books and Art is owned by Pete, who just opened up a second bookstore in West Cape May, uh, which is in the, uh, the town of Cape May, uh, Cape May Point area, Lower Township. And uh, I'm really happy that he's expanding. Uh, it's great to see that uh, independent booksellers are able to make that jump. And I was really impressed by how uh, successful uh, both stores are. And I thought that the Stone Harbor shop was very well stocked. I got a total of 16 books during my visit to uh, Barrier Island Books and Art. And they got them in a great range of different categories. Uh, I think that nonfiction was a little bit more prevalent, but I think that I'm reading more nonfiction as of late. Uh, but first I went to the uh, food and cookbook sections. And I got Lobster Scream When You Boil Them uh, by Bruce Weinstein and Mark Scarborough. And this has to do with... Uh, myths pertaining to uh, food and cooking. And I really like food, and I really like uh, random information, so I thought that this would be a great marriage of two things that I love. Uh, then I got uh, The Emperors of Chocolate by Joelle Glenn Brenner. And this is a history uh, of Milton Hershey and Forrest Mars. Uh, Milton Hershey is known for the Hershey Company that has produced food such as the Hershey Kisses, Hershey Bars, uh, Mr. Good Bars, uh, Kit Kats. Whereas uh, Forrest Mars, uh, the Mars Company is known for treats such as uh, Milky Way bars, Snickers bars, uh, Three Musketeers, and whatnot. Uh, but I do like chocolate, so I think that this is going to be a gem. Here is the Greens cookbook, and this will hopefully give me uh, greater options as far as healthier meals are concerned. I would like to eat a little more plant-based, which uh, I don't do as much of that in the way that I should be. Uh, I should surround myself more with meals of this nature. Uh, there are no pictures in here, but, uh, and they also have different, like, they have basic recipes like how to make guacamole, and then you have other things such as uh, a tomato and pesto pizza with, uh, mozzarella cheese, and uh, Indian vegetable stew with yellow dal. Uh, this is uh, more so marking itself as uh, a work about vegetarian cuisine as opposed to vegan cuisine, but I think that incorporating more vegetables and greens in general is a good direction to go. I've had a growing interest in composers and learning more about them. Uh, here is a mammoth. Uh, this is a Beethoven Biography of a Genius by George R. Merrick. And I also wanted to learn more about artists. So here is an autobiography about Grandma Moses. This is Grandma Moses, My Life's History. I picked up Tropic of Cancer by Henry Miller. It's deemed as a classic that I should read at some point in my life. And here is Iwo Jima, uh, which is by Richard F. Newcomb, uh, 50th Anniversary Edition.
because I'm into my collect complete collections, I found the collected stories of Eudora Welty. Uh, I am not too familiar with her works, but I've heard of her name, and I would like to uh, learn more about her and her writing. Uh, so here is the great opportunity to do so. I got Year's Best Science Fiction. Uh, this is the sixth issue edited by David G. Hartwell. Here is Man of La Mancha, which is a play written by Dale Wasserman, Joe Darian, and Mitch Lee. Man of La Mancha is supposed to be a fictionalized account of the later life of Miguel de Cervantes. Uh, and the, uh, the song The Impossible Dream is known for uh, being sung in this, uh, in this play. I found another biography about James A. Garfield. I, I came across it in a list of biographies, but in the modern day, the go-to James Garfield biography has been Destiny of the Republic by Candace Millard. And I think that that is a great choice. I thought it was a fantastic uh, biography. Uh, but this one was written by Kenneth D. Ackerman uh, called Dark Horse. The Surprise Election and Political Murder of President James A. Garfield. And even uh, Senator Patrick Leahy uh, wrote, a, uh, uh, wrote a comment on here. Dark Horse is good history, good politics, and good reading. A rare combination. It's also worth noting uh, that uh, Ackerman uh, worked for the uh, Department of Agriculture's Risk Management Agency during the Clinton-Gore administration. Uh, but he also has written about uh, Black Friday in 1869. And upon the release of this book, he was working on a, uh, a biography about Boss Tweed, which... Boss Tweed was a prominent figure within uh, the Gilded Age as well. This was perhaps a, uh, a golden find. This is something that I was looking for. I, I had no idea that I would come across it at Barrier Island Books and Art. And that is the official Scrabble Player's Dictionary, 3rd edition. And the reason that the 3rd edition is significant for me right now is because the novel that I'm working on right now features a Scrabble game where they would be referring to the 3rd edition of the Scrabble Player's Dictionary. This one came out right before the 4th edition, uh, obviously so, but... Uh, if you take time into account, I would want them to be looking at the uh, most recent edition because uh, they're taking the game somewhat seriously. And so uh, this one it would be. Next, I got Killing Jesus, a history by Bill O'Reilly and Martin Dugard. Uh, Bill O'Reilly is known for his uh, Killing series. Uh, he wrote Killing Lincoln, Killing Kennedy, uh, and so he did something about uh, the uh, crucifixion of Jesus Christ, or Jesus of Nazareth, to be more uh, uh, historically specific. Next, I got Gallatin. Uh, America's Swiss Founding Father by Nicholas Dungan. Uh, and Albert Gallatin was the Secretary of Treasury for Thomas Jefferson. And he was probably one of our most successful treasure, Treasury Secretaries in history. Uh, he stayed on during uh, a good portion of G 
James Madison's administration as well, uh, but he was very prominent in the elevation of the Treasury Department in this country, and I definitely want to learn more about him. I read a lot about him in John Meacham's biography of Thomas Jefferson, uh, The Art of Power, but this one is now going to be more Gallatin specific. Wanting to learn more, even more about Supreme Court justices, I have a Supreme Court memoir. It's called Five Chiefs, and this was written by John Paul Stevens, right here. Uh, John Paul Stevens was appointed to the Supreme Court by Gerald Ford, and he served under Fred Vinson, Earl Warren, Warren Berger, uh, William Rehnquist, and most recently, John Roberts. Uh, John Paul Stevens retired in 2010, uh, but he lived until 2019. Uh, he, he was 90 when he retired, which I don't think he broke the record, but he is among the oldest ever. And at the time, he was the third, he had the third longest tenure as far as uh, justices were concerned. And finally, I got Women Artists from 1550 to 1950, which is a span of 400 years of female artists. And this definitely gives me uh, an opportunity to learn more about them and their artwork. It was the science fiction book that was actually the last one that I got physically. Uh, I was, I had them in a certain order, and I try to talk about them in the order that I picked them up, but it doesn't always happen that way because it's not necessarily the order that you bag them. Uh, but on my way to the register, this year's best science fiction, sixth edition, caught my eye, and so I had to add it to the order. And that's how it goes sometimes when it comes to bookshop. I want to thank you for tuning into this video. I hope you check out some more videos from our channel, and I also hope that you check out Barrier Island Books and Art in Stone Harbor. Uh, they are very well stocked, and they also have book-related uh, trinkets. The one that I really liked were the book-themed scented candles. Uh, the reason I didn't get them, though, is because I don't think I would have really utilized them the way that I wanted to. And it was $14.99. Uh, I would rather invest in books that I can have at my fingertips and read at any time. Uh, and I also encourage you to check out the new Barrier Island Books and Art in West Cape May. Uh, I would like to visit that store as well. Uh, if I take a trip down to Cape May, uh, definitely going to go visit Barrier Island Books and Art in West Cape. Thank you for tuning in, and for now, keep reading.